Join us for a rainy night of camping in our truck camper. For New Year's this year, we're doing a trip to Maine and New Hampshire. It's Thursday, December 28th now, and last night we drove up to Maine, and last night we stayed at the Kittery Trading Post. So that's where we are right now. We slept here and we worked for an hour or two, and now we are heading over to the Starbucks to get better Wi-Fi, and uh, then we're gonna be heading to York Beach. The other day we got this insulating door cover as a replacement for the screen door in the winter time just to help uh, hold in more heat. But it's still really not even that cold out. It's still raining. We wish it was snow, but it's not. Kate and Coco are already in the car. So this is the Kittery Trading Post right here. You can see it's already really busy. It's right about lunchtime and we never went grocery shopping before uh, we came here. We did want to go on a walk, but as you can see, it's still raining and really not that nice out. So on our lunch break, we're going to go to the grocery store and then drive to York Beach and finish our workday out from there. Right before we left, Kate finished making us this new seat that we added to the Scout. You can kind of see it if you look down under here. It'd be like an easily removable bench. It's basically just a piece of wood that overlaps on the edges. So we can um, just pull it up if we want to. We don't want it here, but it is nice to be able to stretch our legs out. Okay, you want to demonstrate? So Kate can stretch her legs out here and I can stretch my legs out over here. This is just three inch foam that we got from Joanne Fabrics. Uh, the same fabric and foam that we use to make this extra seat right here. We really love both being able to uh, stretch our legs out. And now once we have our legs up, Coco has more room down there. And also you can see it's still a good amount of space for like a one person dinette. So I can still sit here and work uh, pretty easily and it's pretty comfortable. But if we have other guests here, we want to take this out. It is really easy to just pull up and uh, set up on the bed. I think I just figured out where we're going to stay tonight. There's two 24 hour Planet Fitnesses near Portland, Maine. And I'm looking at the Google Maps Street View for one of them and I see a van in the parking lot and I don't see any no overnight parking signs. For whatever reason, if we can't stay there, I just noticed that there's actually a Cracker Barrel right here. If you zoom in, you can see that there's a camper uh, right there. If you look over here, there's a Tacoma with a Scout Yoho on it. Kate noticed it. It's pretty cool. I feel like the last time we were in Maine over the summer, we saw one too. That was up in Acadia National Park where we saw it. Oh, it's definitely raining more. I just got everything all put away and now it is off to uh, Trader Joe's and then York Beach. I feel like it feels a lot colder than it actually is. It's like 42 now and rainy. It's raining pretty good, so it always feels cold with the rain. <laughs> I'm definitely ready for the snow. I don't want to complain too much, but cold in the snow is much better than cold in the rain. We actually have to go back into Portsmouth, New Hampshire to go to the grocery store since we want to go to the Trader Joe's. See you, Coco. We'll be back soon. This is a cool truck bed. I think it would be neat to have like a Bowen Customs bed or like an aluminum tray with a water tank in it underneath the Scout. I think we would just get a lot more storage that way. I think we should get some salad and some steak stuff. That was good and didn't take too long. We got groceries to last us for most of the trip. We're going to be here until, what is it, next Tuesday or yeah. Wednesday? Uh, we're heading to New Hampshire, so we'll stop at a grocery store up there if we need to, but we should be all set. Now, I think before we head to York Beach, we're actually going to stop at the Chipotle over here for lunch. That was super good. It was a good choice, and we had a gift card, so we didn't really have to pay for it. And now it's off to the beach. Coco, you got to get back. You can see Coco wishes we had a truck with a bench seat. Come on, Coco. <laughs> Come on, go. I think I see the beach up ahead. If you look on the map right here, you can see it. Okay, Coco, come on in. Come on in, Coco. Come on. You got it. Good girl. We're actually right near the public bathrooms, which is nice. And we just checked and they are open. It's that building right there. And we're actually parked near this surf shop. This past July, when we went to Acadia, we actually stayed here for one night and we figured out that this surf shop actually has a webcam. If you look up there, you can actually go to the liquiddreamsurfshop.com and watch a live feed of York Beach. It looks like it's low tide right now. There's not many other cars here, at least in this little area. Uh, there's another beach down there. And then if you look off into the distance, you can see this thing called the Nubble Lighthouse. 
Yeah, you can just see the light right there. That's a pretty lighthouse. I don't think we're gonna be seeing it on this trip. We still have to work for a few more hours today and I think we're gonna to try to use our hotspots on our phone. And if that doesn't work, we're gonna set up the Starlink on top of the camper. I'm thinking that all this seaweed up here in these cones means that the water actually came up here recently because look at all this down here. I feel like it's way colder than in Portsmouth. It's really cold and like windy here. There's some people walking with their surfboards. Our hotspot seems to be working fine, so no Starlink today. Um, we're gonna see it in about three hours when it's uh, almost dark out and we're done with our work day. It's right about five o'clock now and we're done with our work day. As you can see, it's dark. It's probably been dark for 45 minutes. We're gonna just take Coco on a little walk around here. Then we're gonna be heading to North Portland to go to this rock gym. I think it's called like Evo Rock Climb. We're gonna rock climb there and I think Kate's gonna to try to go to a yoga class and then we're gonna be staying at that local Planet Fitness I found earlier. Okay, Coco, good job. Should we go down on the beach or are you gonna to be too dirty then? I don't know if you can hear it, but it's really windy here. It's not raining as hard as earlier, but it's definitely colder. I feel like it's raining even more than earlier now, and we decided we're just gonna go to Planet Fitness tonight and work out and shower and then make dinner, and we're gonna do rock climbing tomorrow. Here we are at Planet Fitness. Now it's time to look and see if we uh, see any no parking signs overnight. See you, Coco. We'll be back in like an hour. We had a good time at the gym. As you saw, we showered as well. I feel like we've been more active today than I was expecting due to how much uh, it's been raining. And it's really not raining that hard now. While we were on the treadmill at the gym, we looked at this app called iOverlander, and that's an app on the phone to help find and review free camp spots. And that Planet Fitness we were at, even though it's 24 hours, there was a lot of recent reviews saying that people had got a knock on their door around 11 p.m., 12 a.m. from the local police saying the owner of that complex didn't like uh, people overnight parking there. So we decided to come to the local Cracker Barrel and that was only like five minutes away. And there's two other campers here and one of them is actually this really big uh, old RV that has a generator going. So that's kind of funny. And the other one is just like a smaller Dodge van. Tonight for dinner, we're gonna be having a salad, some ravioli and pasta sauce and some chicken. I'm sure everything's going to be good. We're going to have most of this chicken tomorrow and only half the salad. That's going to be our lunch for tomorrow as well. And we're going to be making our ravioli in this collapsible Sea to Summit pot. And I already filled it up with water. We have our portable water can in the back of the truck. So I filled it up before we came in here. If you watch our other videos, you'll notice that I've been having these type of drinks. They're athletic brewing non-alcoholic beers. And I just feel like they're really good and they're not too heavy, but they still have a really good taste to them. The chicken's now done. We just set off the smoke alarm, but I didn't film any of it. I don't think I filmed the chicken cooking at all. And now the ravioli is done and it's looking good. Coco, even you're having a late dinner tonight too. Hmm. We're just cleaning up from dinner and I'm using this new scrubby thing that I got for Christmas. Uh, there's soap and water in here. You just squeeze the end and it makes cleaning things uh, pretty easy. Oh, look at that. A neighborly reminder, lock your car and remove your valuables. We're gonna go to bed pretty soon. I still gotta let Coco out, but before that, we're gonna watch a YouTube video we've been wanting to watch. We're gonna watch Ryan Twanmi's uh, most recent uh, van life video. We're gonna be watching it on this little Nebula projector, uh, just streaming it right from YouTube. We connect that to the hotspot on our phone. The one we're watching is this newest one, two days ago, Van Life Camp and Cook in Arizona. We estimated how bad winters were gonna be because temperatures, high water tank has very, very cold water in it. And repertoire is a rolling pin, so we're gonna use it. That video was good. He was camping in a cool spot. I feel like he always makes something really elaborate. 
and there's another camper here now or maybe that one was here when we pulled in i just don't remember but there are still a decent amount of cars here maybe that's someone's camper van thing even though it looks like a box truck there's a van back over there we've just got to brush our teeth and i'm going to let coco out one more time uh, that's it for this evening and we'll see you in the morning good morning i definitely did not have the best sleep last night there's a lot of people like screaming and yelling and walking around the parking lot at 2 a.m. and it started raining pretty hard at one point. I think it's probably around eight o'clock now. And uh, let's see how busy Cracker Barrel is because they open at seven. Good morning, Coco. How did you sleep? There's really not many cars here at all. And the camper that was over in that corner is gone. Some cars over here, but not a lot. Coco, are you going to have breakfast at the table today? <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> I'd say we had a successful night. Uh, we're just going to have a quick breakfast and then start the second day of our trip. Uh, and as always, thanks for watching.